ready in the booth? Oh, yeah. When I first started coming out on a really, really regular basis, like 2013, 2014, the garage rock scene that was going strong around then really uh, formed a lot of my taste. And it's really awesome to see this new wave of folks coming through. Not gonna stand around. It seems to me there's more of a focus on social justice in the in the music community itself. It's not just like a marginal sort of activist thing. But shout out to the Not Enough Fest people that I think really started that conversation for a lot of folks, myself included. I can't tell you. I really like living in Edmonton. What you need to hear. It's a special place. Yeah. I think it's just like a really supportive scene that like people are just so encouraging. So it's like easy to to, I don't know, to get out there and, and do your thing. Uh, Matt's bass is probably the most complimented piece of music. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's probably. like the first thing anybody says. I like when they compliment the sound though, because I have been trying to get it. Like, exactly going on. I got the amp I want, I got the pill I want, and the sound. So when they just compliment, oh, Rick and back, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's really nice. I like it too. Conversations are a big, big catalyst for me. Thinking about, um, the new album, a lot of the Remember themes explored are like self-betterment and the habits that we um, use to build off past trauma and go All forward right. and be the best version of ourselves. There's a lot of pitfalls and trials and tribulations along the way. Um, and looking back before you had those skills to adequately cope with the world. So that's more what I focus on. For the new record that we're working on, I had the opportunity to work with Jamie a lot for uh, synth patches. Learning synthesis together as part of the songwriting process really changed things up for us, I think, added a more of like a pop sheen. I used the McCore, um, and then the Yamaha DX21, and then me and Cass spent a lot of time over the past few months writing patches that are very specific to the songs we're doing. Uh, yeah, I've had my V for a few years now. I changed the pickups up myself, and I've done a lot of um, a lot of work on it myself, but teaching myself how to maintain an instrument to varying degrees of success. But uh, I have it just how I want it, and I love how it's such like a you know like rock and roll shape. But uh, I write my like soft, sensitive songs on them, and it can get heavy, it can stay quiet. Um, it's a versatile piece. Um, it's a versatile thing. It's great. <laughs> <laughs>